The following screencast will provide you with a quick demonstration of the new features and functionality that have been added to the Acknowledge Journal. I'm going to start by highlighting an, er an area of data. I already have a series of measurement boxes already selected for max, min, mean, peak to peak, and these values are being taken from my rate calculation channel, which is the one that's highlighted with the yellow background. Now to start off with, I'm going to create a quick table. I've got an insert table feature here. I'm going to cr insert a table with five rows and four columns. This is now being added into my journal down below. If I click in the first cell in the top left hand corner and use my right mouse button, I have a series of options here. The one I'm going to use for this particular row is to insert all the measurements including the header values. So now we've got our table filled out with headers at the top for the maximum value from channel 3 in beats per minute, the minimum value, mean, and then the peak to peak. And then my actual results from this selected area of data are now inserted in the second row of my table. If I highlight another area of data like so, I can come down to my table with my right mouse button, I can insert all the measurement values. So this is inserted just the measurements only that relate to the open or enabled measurement boxes above the Acknowledge Graph window. I'm going to highlight another section of data Again, using my right mouse button, I'm going to insert all measures. So now we've got a very simple table. We've taken three measurements, or rather, we've taken measurements from three selected areas of our data. Now, with my right mouse button, I can come along to column statistics, and I'm going to get the mean value for each of these columns. like so. Now I can change the font color. It's currently in black. Now I'm going to select red. I'm going to bold and underline. So now I've created a nice little table, a summary table from a very short period of data. If I move my cursor down a few spots I can highlight a, a larger area of data, go to the edit menu and the journal menu and there's an option in here now to paste the graph into the journal. If I increase my journal size now we can see we've got this nice table and the data that the table relates to. We can also add annotations to the um, the graph window as well before we paste it in there but this really concludes the demonstration of the new Acknowledge Journal features.